That's the second one. Hopefully we're back up. It looks like I'm told we're up. I'm not sure that we're up though. The throw to third and it was up and out of the way of Cunningham and into right field. I believe that was ball three. There's a foul ball. Two and two. Sorry about that. That's on me. Two and two. Apologize for getting this stream going today. Kind of had some difficulties. Again, uh, the net is blowing all over. There's a swing and a miss. Strike three. So you can tell from watching the live stream, uh, hopefully you've taken your Dramamine. Now batting number 13, Trey Zorn. First pitch to Trey Zorn is called strike. Oh, one fouled off. I know the stream got disturbed there a little bit. Um, the first two batters walked on uh, eight straight pitches. Um, Nick found the zone a little bit. The next batter should have been a fly out to right. And the win, there's a swing and miss from Ogre. Now batting number 27, Connor McCoy. Then uh, the on the throw, the runner that was advanced to third, the leadoff man ended up uh, scoring. Byers ended up scoring. So we then we've had a stolen base. So there's second and third, and two consecutive strikeouts. There's a nice one hopper to Couture, four three on the putout, and that will end the inning.
All right. Uh, coming up to the plate now is Yadiel Oriano. Got a little lefty on the mound. First pitch is ball inside. Can't quite see the lefty's number. It looks like it might be four. Cameron Broom. It's 2 0 oh now to Yadiel. There's a strike one. Broom didn't take as long as our lefty Hoven to find the zone, but he's got it now. 2 1. There's a ball high, I guess. That wind is just wreaking havoc. That one's fouled off. It might stay in play here. Third baseman coming in. A slide might have made that catch, but he did not. Full count for Yadiel. So full count now, bottom of the first, we're trailing by one. There's a ball. Got in there a little too quick for me to play his music, but got his name announced. There's a bunt he pulls back on a high ball and a throw down to first base but Yachty is in there Broom comes to the plate lays down a bunt is Cunningham foul ball One and one, pick move to first. Yachty's in there well ahead of the throw. There's a move to the plate. Cunningham bunts it. Good bunt, perfect sacrifice. Gets Yachty moved to second base. Gonna bring up Caden Horton. So now Yachty's at uh, second. Horton is up, batting third tonight. The ball is high and away. Did he call it a strike? Okay. Raised his left hand. I think he was just showing it was elevated, but it looked like it might have been a fist from where I'm at. 1-0. Nope. Two balls. Two balls, no strike to Horton. There's a called strike. Two one pitch. There's a ball hit to left field for a single. Yachty's gonna hold up at third and KK at first. And that's gonna bring up Carter Smith. So first and third now, you know Horton is going to be going. There's a bunt by Carter. It gets Horton to second, and Yachty's coming to the plate. Out at first, and a slide at home, and he's safe.
Hornet will tie it up. Ethan Wheat step into the plate, number 12. First pitch is in the dirt, ball one. Broom comes set and checks Horton at second. The 1 0 pitch in the dirt for ball two. Horton's quick enough. I know the the baseball Bible says don't make the last out at third, but if you see in these balls in the dirt, that'd be a great dirt ball read. Even even though the catcher's getting it, it's a difficult play to drop to your knees, block the ball, pick it up, and throw him out at, at third with the speed that Horton has. 2-0, two, oh, two outs. Broom delivers. Wheat hits a ball in the air to the right side and out of play just before the field house. Down the right field line. <laughs> two and one now. Broom checks Horton at second, checks him a second time and delivers the two one. There's a nubber, a swinging bunt, wheat running, but doesn't get there in time. That'll be the last out of the inning. After one, Fighting Irish one, Hornets one. All right, Hogan's going to come back out and start the second. And check in our YouTube page right now. There's all the ways you can keep track of the games. Um, and uh, stay in contact with all that is Hornets baseball, whether it's Twitter, which is now X, Instagram, Facebook, or Sideline HD. Number 24 will lead off, Kale Pites. And behind him, it looks like number 20. All right, first pitch of the inning is a swing and a miss. Sorry, I was talking to the mute button there. A lot of wind, 19.6 mile an hour. There's a ball high. Thought the umpire was going to call it with his reaction, but he did not. So one and one is the count. There's outside. Two and one. Umpire seemed like... Uh, 
He's a little disbelief there. His body language tells me he was disappointed. Other than the wind, it's a beautiful day out here. There's a swing and a miss, even it up two and two. Hogan comes set. Carter Smith sets out outside. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Stepping to the plate, the third baseman, number 20, Layton Davis. So Davis is stepping up. That strikeout brought to you by Sideline HD. There's an outside strike one, best pitch in baseball. The strikeout was also brought to you by Westside Veterinarian Hospital. Your fur baby sick, let us help. Oh, one pitch is drilled down the right field line, but way foul over the field house. Nothing but a loud, long strike two. I think he's 16 on deck. Is that right? So, O2 is ball. One and two here. There's a swing and a miss. And that strikeout was bought, brought to you by Wellhouse. Stepping to the plate, the catcher, number 16, Brian Skirmetti. And Wally Plumbing also brought you that strikeout there. Two outs now here in the top of the second. First pitch to Skirmetti is fouled off into the net. Oh, and one here. Hoven comes set. Smith sets up outside. So well outside. One, one. One ball, one strike. Hoven throws high. Ball two. The 2 1 delivery swung on and missed. Imagine these St. Patrick boys are having a little trouble there with Hoven. His ball is moving pretty good. There's a swing and a miss. That strikeout was brought to you by Stokely, Garden Express, and South Alabama Custom Meats. We'll be back after these messages.
All right, first pitch to Hoven, swung on and missed. Broom still on the mound. The 0 1 swung on and missed. O2 in the dirt, ball one. One ball and two strikes. Outside, ball two, even the count, two and two. And that is ball three. Pitcher's looking for a new pearl. Full count here to Nick Hoven. Swung on and missed. Coming to the plate now will be Isaac Rogers. This is going to bring Isaac Rogers up. Room's first pitch is called strike. A little low, but umpire liked it. No bad body language from the ump on that one. The 0 1 outside. 1 and 1. There's a ground ball, 4-3 on the putout. First pitch outside ball. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes here to Jesus. That one's inside. Ball three. Three balls, no strikes. Scrimetti's going out to calm Broom down a little bit. Three and zero here in the dirt. Ball four. First pitch strike. Santiago got a decent lead at first. Ball's high.
one and one. Tour swings and misses. Do have two outs here. On deck is the top of the lineup. One ball, two strikes. Broom comes and swings and misses his couture for strike three. After two complete scores, still tied at one. Alicia, you want my hat? That inning brought to us by Wellhouse, Wally's Plumbing, and UJ Chevrolet. Looking for Hoven to go out there and strike all three out. After two full innings, or, or I'm sorry, yeah, two full innings. Hoven has pitched two full innings, giving up one hit. He's allowed one run to score. That was a base on balls. He's had two base on balls today, but he has struck out five through two innings. Uh, five in two innings. That's uh, pretty good. The most you can face is six. He's faced nine. We'll be back here shortly. As long as game changers right, I'm right. First pitch to Byers, the leadoff man, ball up and away. The 1 0 called strike. There's another called strike. One ball, two strikes for Hoven. There's a swing and a miss. Stepping to the plate for the Fighting Irish, the center fielder, number 21, Alden Williams. First pitch fouled off for strike one. Oven comes set and delivers his 0-1. Ball high. I don't know if I finished my thought last inning, but uh, he struck out six here through two and one third. Uh, and he, with this wind, his ball is moving all over the place. He's got some natural movement from the left-hand side, but uh, making it difficult for these Irish folks to uh, – Handle, making his ball dance even more than normal. One 
One and two is the count, and Hoven delivers. Swing and a miss. Stepping to the plate for the Irish, the shortstop, number 11, Eli Bowen. That strikeout brought to you by Gulf Coast Pros Revitalized Heating and Air Conditioning. Got all your AC needs. There's a swing and a miss. Ball high, one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs. The ball high. Two balls and one strike. Wind is blowing very strong down here. Two, one, high, three and one. There's a ball hit down the right field line and foul up against the fence. Make the count three and two. Someone has requested the booger ball on three and two with two outs. Not sure what that means, but I can imagine, I guess. Three, two pitch high, ball four. Stepping to the plate, the second baseman, number two, James Kegler. So we've got a runner at first here with two outs. The cleanup man is stepped to the plate. Hoven comes set and delivers outside ball one. There goes a runner. Carter Smith throws one, two. And the runner's in safe. That was a called strike, though, I believe. One and one is called ball. Go to third and not sure on that. Three and one, and the runner now is at third base. Thought we had him there. That was the ball four. 
stepping to the plate for the Irish number 13, the designated hitter, Trey Zorn. First and third situation now. Top of the third, just need to get out of this little jam we're in here as Ogre comes set and delivers. That was pretty quick. And uh, in the dirt, runner advances the second. Good block by Carter. Here's a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. That ball has hit a little. Two, two delivery inside. He calls it strike three. It'll be the seventh K, I believe. Maybe the eighth. Did he strike out the side here? I think he did. Uh, eight Ks now through two, three innings. We'll be back. Between and first pitch to Yachty from Broom is in the dirt. Fall one. Two and O oh to Yachty L. Yachty is 0 for 0 so far. No official plate appearance. He took a base on balls, and he did score a run. There's ball three. I will say him raising his left arm is throwing me for a loop, but that's the, the arm you show the balls. And there's ball four that got by. Yachty's going to hustle down a little bit. Cunningham had put down a perfect sack bump last hat, last inning, and he does it again, right back to the pitcher again, and advances the runner on the sacrifice bunt.
One out now, man on second base in scoring position. Horton's one for one with a single into left field there, just past the third baseman's glove. First pitch to him is called strike. Horton does have the only Hornets hit so far. Broom comes set and checks Yadiel twice and delivers. There's another called strike. Those are the pitches that Horton took to left field his first at bat. Um, he moves even further in on the plate since uh, Broom is continuing to throw it outside. And that one's even further out for ball one. That one almost got by the pitcher Broom there, thrown from Stermetti. No one backing the pitcher up would have been a base for Yadiel. One and two on the count. One ball, two strikes. There's a fouled off just over the net. Or maybe it stayed in. Never mind. I thought it went over. Carter on the hustle. Picking up the foul ball. One and two. There's an inside pitch. Coach Edmund with the hands getting it back to the pitcher. Way to keep your nose in front of the ball, Coach. There's a ball hit back to the pitcher. Broom fields it. Throws out Horton at first, and Yadiel is going to be able to advance on the hit. Horton hit it hard enough to knock off Broom's hat, but he was able to smother it, pick it up, and throw him out. Did not panic. Need Carter Smith to come through here with a hit. He does have an RBI on his uh, ground out in the first inning. He drove in Yadiel. 1 and 0, oh, first pitches in the dirt. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike, swing and miss, one and two. The one, two from Broom is in and hits Smith. Apparently, they're saying it didn't hit Carter. It was just a ball. Got to have a bat, though, Carter. Two and two, three and two. Full count here to Carter Smith. And he drives the ball down the left field line. That's even better. Carter's round at first base. He's headed to second base. 
There's a throw in, and it's not going to be in time. Almost Willie Mays hazed it into second base, but he ends up with the RBI double. Who wants to get hit anyway? He's got to put Gabe Amick on for the courtesy runner. That'll put the Hornets up one run here with two outs in the bottom of the third. There's a ball hit to first base. He feels it cleanly, and he's going to beat Wheat to first for a 3-U, three unassisted put out. After three full, the Hornets take the lead, two to one. Cheap seats. All right, we're back here with Hoven on the mound. Connor McCoy stepping in. McCoy is 0 for 1. Um, if you're watching the Game Changer, it's listed as Milloy, but it is McCoy. And swing and miss for strike two. Noticed on St. Patrick's bus that they've got 37 state championships. I don't know if that's just in baseball or what. One and two. There's a strikeout brought to you by Victorious UJ Severley. Stepping to the plate, number 24, the right fielder, Kale Heights. There's a swing and a miss, according to the umpire. No balls, one strike. Ball is up and away at 67 mile an hour.
One ball and one strike here. Hoven delivers a swing and a miss. He has been able to miss a lot of bats in this game. I dare say this is his best outing. One and two, one out. And there's strike three. Brought to you by Sonny's Barbecue, local pit master since 1968. Coming to the plate for the Irish, number 20, the third baseman, Leighton Davis. Number 20. There's a ball popped up. Staying in play. And Carter Smith ends the inning on the pop-up and foul territory. Going to say it's not going to make it, but we're going to try to give him credit here on the camera. I think the wind has got that play out of frame, but just in case. There you go, Carter. So after four full innings for... For Nick Hoven, he is uh, 10 strikeouts. All right, that's going to bring Jamar Shears up to bat. And the first pitch is a strike. The 0-1 is outside in the dirt. 1-1. Broom fell over after throwing. That one's inside, almost getting the back foot of Shamar. Two and one here. That one's called strike. A little too pretty to take. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. There's a swing and a miss from Isaac Rogers. 
They call Isaac Snacks. O oh, one outside. One and one. Got uh, another substitution casing Bartle on deck. One ball, one strike here to Snacks. He eats that one, pops it up to second base, and he's out. That's a called strike one on the outside part of the plate. Too bad no runners around base. We would have had a, a balk. As Broom drops the ball off his hitting his leg there. Oh one to Bartle. Nearly hits him. Just gets that noggin out of the way. Hopefully, Amick didn't put his uh, ball magnet up in Bartle's helmet. Because that would stink. One and one. Broom delivers. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Outside, and the umpire rings him up. And um, we'll see if everybody re-enters. I would say they do. I don't know if I played this or not, but we're going to play some Glory Days from Springsteen.
talking to a mute button. So Rubenstein's coming up his first at bat. First pitch is called ball. Hoven steps off. There's a swing and a miss by Rubenstein. Took a daddy heck there. There's a ball popped up and out of play, one and two. There's a ball fouled out of play also. Still one and two. Third base coach imploring Skirmetti or the courtesy runner there to uh, get a bigger primary lead at first base. Um, Hovind hasn't shown his A move yet. He's only been stepping off and throwing over. Bigger. And there he goes. Smith comes up and throws. Short hops the second baseman, Couture, who snags it but uh, can't quite corral it enough to get the out. A 2-2 two -two and a stolen base for the Fighting Irish. That is the tying run out there. Ruben Stein gets set, got a little choke up going and up in the box and fouls it just out of play. Sounds like it hit the bleachers. Good thing is I heard bleach here. I didn't hear ouch. Means he must have missed. There's a swing and a miss. And Carter Smith took the brunt of that one by the time the batter realized that he didn't catch it. He uh, plowed into him. Stepping to the plate for the Fighting Irish, the center fielder, number 21, Alden Williams. So got a runner at second base. Outside, ball one to Williams. Only one out here in the top of the fifth. Inside, called strike, one and one. One and one. All two. Two balls, one strike, one out here. Man in scoring position is the tying run. Horton is holding him on a little bit. That one's called strike on the inside corner. You're just joining us there again. I apologize for the camera moving. The wind is blowing about 19 to 20 mile an hour. Some gusts up higher than that. Ball up and away. Counts now full. You just throw that fastball inside. He's been throwing that. That Williams has been taking, and the umpire likes for strikes. 
full count. That's too far inside and in the dirt. And uh, ball four. But we've allowed the runner to get to third. Stepping to the plate, the shortstop, number 11, Eli Bowen. So we're in first and third now. The tying run at third. The go-ahead at first. Hoping to sneak our way out of this. Uh, Bowen is one for one with the base on balls today. There goes the runner to second. And a fake throw and look at third. One and oh. Looks like they've got a pinch hitter here for the next batter. Is that 28? The 1-0 is away. There's a strike. It's high, but he called it. Two and one now. Ball in the air. Shallow right. Couture is going back and makes the catch. That, he went a long way as they were playing infield in. Stepping to the plate, number 28, Kenner Williams. Williams has not got a plate appearance today. Just hitting now for James Kegler. Runners are in scoring position. If we can leave them stranded, we can hang on to the lead. First pitch is high. Ball one. One O pitch is up. Also, ball two. There are two outs. It's two O. Hitters pitch. Williams is going to look to try to put something there over Couture's head on the ground ball over there between Rogers and Couture, something like that. Good attempt by Carter, but that was just a little too high to frame that one back in the zone. 3-0 and here. We do have a spot to put them. Zorn is on deck, who is 0 for 2 with two strikeouts against Hogan. There's a strike. Come all the way back here, Ogre. Seventeen point three miles is what it's saying. The wind is blowing right now. Three balls, one strike to the pinch hitter Kenner Williams. Nick Hoving toes the rubber and looks into Carter Smith for the sign. A three-one pitch. It's called strike two. Full count now. Two outs. Oh, ball four. Stepping to the plate now is number 13, Trey Zorn, the designated hitter. Oh, 
Well, it looks like we're going to have a pitching change. Connor Trammell is going to come in. We'll be back after Tremel gets warm. All right, there's the first pitch fouled off for strike one. Trammell brought in the game for Hoven, who fell apart a little bit this inning here in the top of the fifth. Bases are now loaded, all accredited to Hoven. There are two outs, though. We just need Trammell to uh, get Zorn out, who is 0 for 2 with two Ks today. Oh, umpire wanted to call that one a strike, but it went down too low. One ball, one strike. High, ball two. Two and one here. There's a strike. Two and two. Two and two, two outs. Ball's hit into right well. Jesus has got a good beat on it. And he comes up with the catch to end the inning. And keep the fighting Irish at bay. Plate Santana, but we'll... Aiden Jackson Young.
There you go. That one choked me up. Now batting for your Baker Hornets, number 22, Aiden Jackson. Get this phone. That won't work. Jackson hits a ball to center. Looks like he's got him burnt. He does. The ball goes all the way to the wall. Jackson's coming into second. He's going to get held up. With a stand up double. So the leadoff man, Aiden Jackson. Hits a ball to the wall in center field, burning the center fielder and uh, allowing him to get a stand-up double. First pitch to Yachty is high and away. One and oh here to Yachty L. Umpire's going to look at that one down. Two balls, no strikes. Broom delivers there. That one's low as well. Three and zero here to Yachty. Gonna get that one called for a strike. That's all right. We're taking there. Broom might want to think twice about throwing that pitch right below his hands. Yachty's been putting a good barrel on the ball. 3-1, and Yachty drills the ball to center. Center fielder going to cut it off on the line out. Going to bring Cunningham to the plate. There's a ball popped up in the golden triangle there. Center fielder calls off the two new middles and secures the out for out two. Going to bring up Caden Horton. Going to get called strike on that outside corner first pitch. One for two today. He got a single in his first at bat that just went past the outstretched glove of the third baseman into left. There's a second pitch high and in. One and one. Horton hits a ball to left center. The left fielder comes in and is able to secure out number three. Leadoff man on, and the next three went down, so left Aiden Jackson's hammer of a double stand as the only hit of the inning. After five, Hornets still lead two to one.
All right, Connor Trammell throws the first pitch of the top of the sixth inning for strike one. As I've always said, best pitch in baseball. The 0-1 is fouled off. McCoy is 0 for 2 with one strikeout. Those two previous at-bats were against Hoven, our lefty. This is his first against our righty, Trammell. Swing and a miss. A um, little circus music, but we got it down there for out number one. Stepping to the plate for the Irish, number 14, Jasper Morin. First pitch called strike. Carter Smith got out there and blocked that one up. One and one here from Tremel. Hammered down the third baseline. In there for fair ball. Wheat comes up throwing to the cutoff man, which allows the batter to advance to second base. Stepping to the play for the Irish, number 12, William Pittman. And that one runs inside and hits Pittman in the shoulder. Do up next for the Irish, the catcher, number 16, Brian Scrimetti. Check that. Batting now for the Irish, number 22, Cooper Mercier. One out here. Mercier's first at bat. Called strike one. This umpire really likes it from the white line on the righty's box to the black of the of the plate. That one might have been over the toes inside the white line. O oh, one. Outside ball one. Isaac Rogers playing up for the bunt. Will be a good baseball play with one out, but um, you got to make sure you get somebody that can actually lay it down for that. And being it's Mercer's first AB, I wouldn't expect him to lay anything down here. There's a ball hit on the ground through the five hole to the left fielder. Wheat comes up with the ball and throws it in to the cutoff man, Connor Cunningham. Bases are juiced. Now stepping to the plate, number 19, Nash Rubenstein. Not sure where Ruben Stein is playing, but he's got one AB today. Um, I'm showing him 0 for 1, maybe? I, I don't know. The game changer is not right here. Ruben Stein already choked up and up in the box. Corners are in. There's a hard ground ball. Cunningham knocks it down somewhat. Um, saves more than one run from scoring. 
but now the game is tied 2-2. Stepping to the plate now, number 21, Alden Williams. Two two bases are juiced, only one out. Need a nice one, two, three double play. Balls in the dirt. One and oh. The one oh pitch fouled off. One and one. One and one here. Hi. Two one. Ball smashed to the first baseman. Couldn't come up with it. Is Rogers? Hey, Santiago picks it up, throws it in. Rogers cuts. It's going to score two runs on the single. Four to two now in favor of the Irish. Stepping in the box now, number 11, Eli Bowen. Do we have a first and third situation again? Ball's hit in the air to center field. Yadiel fields it, plainly throws home, and Connor Trammell cuts it off for the sack fly. Stepping up to the plate, number 28, second baseman Kenner Williams. Now 5-2 in favor of the Fighting Irish of St. Patrick's. There goes the runner, swinging a miss. Good throw. One um, it short hopped him. Not such a good throw. And the runner's in there. Ball one. Was it a strike? I apologize. Called strike. My bad. Oh, it's a swing. That's right. There's another swing. Strike two. Williams asks for time and is granted. Umpire says play ball. Oh, two. There's a swing and a miss. And that's the inning. Moving into the bottom of the sixth inning, the Irish put four on the board. It's now 5-2 in favor of the Irish. I don't know some of these games. Some of these songs he's got on here. Folders empty.
Groom is still out there on the mound. As Carter Smith digs in. There's a swing and a miss. There's a chopper towards short. Shortstop's got it, but he don't have a play. That was a great infield single by Carter Smith. We just stepping in. It's a ball high or no strike. He swing. I missed the swing looking down at my notes here. Oh, one outside. There's a one, one outside pitch. In the dirt and gets away. There goes Amick. Three and one now. Wheat's looking for a good ball. He can drive down the line in the gap. Out of the park. I'm good with that too. We're down three. Oh, it's a swing and a miss. Strike two. Full count. Outside, ball four. First pitch called strike. O2 now to Tremel. And then that's a out. Strikeout is the technical call for it. No, never mind. I was off. I thought it was two strikes. One, two now. Oh, no, it's not. I was right. Rodgers with the line drive. What a play there. Wow. Um, Rodgers hits a line drive to the third baseman, which I believe is Bowen now. Bowen throws a ball to second base. 
that Kenner Williams catches. He's sliding in feet first to make a double play. I, I don't know what else to say. That was a great play. Um, good job, St. Patrick's. After six full, the score is now 5-2 in favor of the St. Patrick's Fighting Irish. That's going to bring us up for the last frame of the game. All right, we are looking to start the last frame. Top of the seventh inning. Hornets are down three. Zorn lines the first pitch into center field. It short hops Yachty and gets by him. He runs back and fields it at the fence, throws it in. Zorn is thinking three, but coach says, hey, kid, you're right there. And he's doing some weird bird flapping at second base for his double. Stepping to the plate now is the pitcher number four, Cameron Broom. How does that work? He's been pitching all day, and now he's coming in to get in the bat when the DH just batted. First ball high. Not sure how this is legal, but hey, what does it matter? Who's worried about legality in this game? 1-0 to Broom. That ball is wide. Just a little bit outside for ball two. There's a swing and a miss. Strike one. Two balls, one strike. Three and one. Swing and a miss. Full count. Oh, it's popped up out of play over the press box here. Full count, 3-2. The ball is inside and low and will be a walk. Stepping to the plate, number 14, Jasper Morin. Looks like we're going to have a relief pitcher coming in. 
Pitching change number 20, J.R. Golden. Stepping to the plate, number 14, Jasper Morin. All right, Golden here. It's a man on first and second. There are no outs in this inning. First pitch is inside. Ball one. There's a ball hit up in the air. Should be infield fly. And no one gets it, but it's in foul. So it doesn't count. Just a foul ball. Tour could not get there. Made a great play before when he was playing in. to cut the runner down at the plate and ran all the way back in the corner, but uh, couldn't get there for that one, even though he called off the first baseman. One and one here. Smith sets up outside. Golden checks the runner second. Checks him again. Checks him a third time and delivers in the dirt. Gets by Carter. Both runners will advance. Two and one. Two balls and one strike. With a ball hit in the five hole into left field. One run will score. Six to two. Stepping to the plate, number 12, William Pittman, the shortstop. So first and third here for Golden. Good throw to first. The runner looked back because he thought he might have been out, but the uh, umpire says, nope, you're safe, kid. You can stay put. He's got a modest lead at first. Not a good lead. There's a pitch called strike one. 72 mile an hour on the inside part of the plate.
No balls, one strike. There goes the runner off the batter's helmet. Um, not sure if it hit the helmet or, yep, he said it hit the helmet. All right, hit by pitch. Thought it might have got the bat, but wasn't quite sure myself. Bases are now loaded. Stepping to the plate, the catcher number 16, Brian Scrimetti. No outs. You got the corners up for double play or uh, force out at the plate. And first pitch is fouled off, 71 mile an hour, high and tight. No balls, one strike. Golden comes set and delivers the 0-1. Got up to 75 up high for ball one. One and one here. Bases are juiced, no outs. Top of the seventh down six, two. There's a pop up in foul territory. Catcher and first baseman give chase, but it's out of play into the home stands. One ball, two strikes. The one, two, 73 mile an hour fastball high. Haven't seen any off speed from Golden yet. Two balls, two strikes, no outs, base is juiced. Golden comes set and delivers. That looked like a good pitch. Uh, Smith dropped it, ball three though. All right, we've got a full count here. Corner still up. Scrimetti at the plate. Golden comes set, steps off. Face is juiced. Golden comes set. The payoff pitch high and hits him. Step into the plate for the Irish, number 19, Nash Rubenstein. Seven to two now, Irish lead. Rubenstein digs in his third plate appearance. There's a pitch called strike, 74. A little high, umpire said, yes, it is. Oh, one pitch. There's fouled off. Oh, two now. Haven't seen any off speed yet from Golden. This is the top of the order, but he didn't start. Smith setting up outside. Golden delivers from the stretch. Hard ground ball. The third 
and thrown away there towards the plate. Smith couldn't keep it in front of him. Fielder's choice for the batter. Still no outs, and eight runs have now cost. Stepping to the plate for the Fighting Irish, the center fielder, number 21, Alden Williams. There's a swing and miss for strike one. There's a swing and miss for strike two. No balls, two strikes here to Williams. That one's high. Still no off speeds out of Golden yet. Maybe we'll see a breaker here. Outside, that was a great frame job by Carter Smith, but umpire said, no, it's a little bit far. Smith might want to wipe the plate off for him there. It's a little dark on that outside corner. Covered in dirt. Two and two now. Smith set up outside again. Fastball high and in. It's only ball three. Williams tried to AJ presents himself into first base, and we got an out as the runner was thought he had ball four. Golden saw him off the bag, threw it over to Isaac, who Isaac put the tag on him. Now there's not a force, but we do have one out. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Full count. There's a chopper to the – no force, remember, so we've got to get a tag. There's a throw. Connor's going to run him down, run into the pitcher. He lost that battle on the 5-2-5-1 putout. Stepping to the plate, the third baseman, number 11, Eli Brown Bowen. So we're back to first and third. We have two outs now, able to save us from scoring another run on that ball from Cunningham to the plate. Caught him in a rundown. Golden goes back to work. Ball's high. Uh, it was the slowest pitch he's thrown so far today at 68. Looked like he was just trying to get one up there for Carter to throw down with, I guess. But uh, I don't know. Ball one. Big lead at first. And there goes the runner to the plate. Golden threw over. Short hop Isaac. And Isaac couldn't handle it. And uh, runner's back safe at first, but the runner at third will score. So it's 9-2 now. Irish, two outs. Bowen is up. Seventy three in for strike one. One and one on the count. Runner had a decent lead again. Golden stepped off.
somewhat of a slide step called strike. One and two now. The ball hit Horton up the middle a little too much. And that single right there at the shortstop position in the left field. Stepping to the plate, number 28, Kenner Williams. First pitch called strike. Seventy three on the inside corner. No balls, one strike. Smith sets up outside. High and in. One and one. Making Williams a little loopy there, having to get out of the way of that pitch. One ball, one strike. There's a ball fouled back over the home stand into the parking lot. One, two. One ball, two strikes. There are two outs. Top of seven. There's a breaker outside ball two. First off, Speedy's thrown all game. Two balls, two strikes. Fastball high, full count. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. You'll see the runners moving here on the pitch. No one's holding the runner at first. You got the man at second. The shortstop is working the runner at second with a righty up. And that's in the dirt. Going to be a ball. Stepping to the plate, number 13, Trey Zorn. Need to work ourselves out of this here. Uh, first pitch is high and in, ball one. The Irish have put up a four spot in the top of the sixth and the seventh, and now lead nine to two. One ball, no strikes. 74 in the dirt. Ball two. Two and two. I'm sorry, two and oh. Three and oh. Wishful thinking there, I guess. Three and zero now, two outs. Zorn's last plate appearance was a single into center field that uh, short hop Yadiel and he ended up with a double. There's a strike. Zorn 
toss his bat away as if to tell the umpire he got it wrong. 3-1. That's the pitch the umpire has been calling all day on the inside part of the corner. Smith sets back up outside. It's in the dirt. And run number 10 will cross the plate. Stepping to the plate, the pitcher number four, Cameron Broom. First pitch fouled off over the visitor stands. Oh, one. No balls, one strike. Second pitch is in the dirt. Smith blocks it, but then kicks it away as he turns. That should be interference there as the runner ran into the fielder, but uh, kind of a petty call anyway. One and one. 11 runs have scored. Second and third now. Two outs. Baby Giraffe needs to. Throw a few more strikes to end the inning here. Uh, gives us a call strike outside. It's only strike two. Not sure what's going on here. Maybe he called the second pitch a strike. I, I think he wants to call a strike out here, which I'm good with personally, but it's actually one and two. And the field umpire overrules him and says it was a strikeout. Brought to you by Via Del Rey. Come get all of your Mexican food you want. We got it. All right, bottom of the seventh. Jesus is getting another AB here. Re entered in the game. Swing and a miss. Jesus on the daddy hack. 
contact might have busted a window out there and left, maybe. I think I pulled a back muscle watching that one. Oh, two. That ball outside, one and two. Jesus hits an outside pitch. Second baseman bobbles it. And will reach on an air. Aiden Jackson coming to the plate here. Apparently there's no music for Aiden Jackson, so apologize, Aiden, but. And he just drills a ball to left. He has lifted that ball a long way. The left fielder tracks it down for out number one. I thought that one was going out, but uh, I think that crosswind killed it. He hit it off the bell of the bat. He didn't really get it on the barrel. But we need a lot more than just two runs, so... Yachty fouls the first pitch off inside, strike one. Oh, one from Broom in the dirt. One, one now the count. One one pitch is called ball two. Santiago leads off first, and Yachty fouls that two one delivery to even the count up at two. Yachty's zero for one officially. He's got two base on balls. Both times he got on, he did score a run. Down nine here in the bottom of the seventh with one out. There's a ball popped up in the air. It's trouble. It's in foul territory. But Zorn, who's been the DH, now is playing first base, is uh, able to secure it. Uh, I, I, I mean, Cunningham means business, Doug, right in it into the uh, batter's box. First pitch swung and miss. Apparently baseball rules in the SIP is a little different than Bama. So 0 oh and 1 here to Cunningham. High 1-1. One, one. Broom delivers to 1-1. One, one. Umpire calls it strike two. Thankfully, not strike three like he did the last batter of the last inning for them. But uh, one and two now. In the dirt, 2-2. Two, two. Santiago did not get that read. A little upset with himself. Smacked the ground a little bit there at first base. One's got the camera blown away, so you couldn't see his frustration on camera. So I'll have to describe that for you. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Cunningham hits a little flail shot, fair ball over the first baseman's head. Santiago's going to set third. And we'll end up first and third on that little duck fart single. Maybe the Hornets can bring it back after two and have one of those infamous breakdowns in JV games that normally goes against us. First pitch high. Cunningham did not take off. We certainly don't want to end the inning on the base path here with us down so much. Second pitch is outside. Ball two.
Cunningham has above average speed. He's got a modest lead. And Horton tips the ball on the 2-0. Two and one. Wind gusts again. Got the camera moving. Horton fouls the 2-1 off. 65 mile an hour pitch. Horton can get one up in the air here. It should blow out. I mean, it just got to be an infield pop-up and it should happen. But uh, line drive out to shortstop, and that will be the ball game. So St. Patrick's of High School of Mississippi um, comes back in the sixth and seventh inning, putting up 10 runs, and beats your Baker JV Hornets 11-2 to two here. That'll do it for us here at Larry Andrews Field. Hope you've enjoyed the game. This is the last regular season game. Uh, I don't know if we've made the playoffs yet. Um, this game didn't mean anything for that. But uh, if not, we'll see you next spring because that wraps up the JV um, schedule this year. Um, and the Hornets are 12-12. and 12 as we end this one. So varsity's next. We'll see y'all on the flip side.